Hi there. Welcome. In this video, we will have a close look at another one of the many picking methodologies that extended warehouse management offers. We will look at how you can pick multiple customer orders in one go, with the Fury-based Pick Card app. This video presents a high-level and generic overview of a specific SAP product or functionality. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer, or any other group or individual. The goal of this video is to provide information that will make you better equipped to make your own choices. Before we run our demo, let us have a quick look at some of the benefits you should expect when doing multi-order picking with help of the PickCard app. By doing multi-order picking you should expect to see a huge reduction in the overall walking distance. That's a given, since you instead of running one time through the warehouse per customer order, now do it only once, for a number of orders. And as we soon will see, by using the PickCart app, you are effectively sorting as you pick, directly into the pack HU, the handling unit. This will efficiently eliminate the need for subsequent consolidation and the packing step, boosting the warehouse efficiency to even higher levels. Before jumping into our demo scenario, let us just first align on a couple of important keywords. In this video we will use the terms warehouse order and wave management. If these terms are unfamiliar, please see our dedicated video on this topic. Pick to cart is an order fulfillment model in which warehouse workers walk through a warehouse, picking items off the shelves and placing them on a rolling cart for packing and delivery. With multi-order picking, the primary goal is usually to minimize travel distances. This is done by picking all items for several orders on a single route. This is especially useful when the number of items on each order is small, and the commonality across several orders are high. We have prepared a few things for our demo. Our scenario has three sales orders. Some may argue that with the 25 crate pick cart that we will be using later, this will be too few, but we are confident you anyway will get the bigger picture. Across the three sales orders, we find four different products, in different quantities. As a bonus, two of the products are batch managed, something that allows us to show how we can validate the picking of the right batch, also in the PickCart app. In this demo we will utilize four different Fury apps. The create outbound deliveries and warehouse monitor apps are not really needed, as these steps can be fully automated. We have included them for illustrative purposes only. The create sales order app can be used to create the sales orders. In our case we will assume they have already been created. We will therefore jump directly to the create outbound deliveries app and kick off the action by creating the outbound deliveries. We open the app, use the sales order number from the orders already created. When the sales orders are retrieved we quickly create the delivery documents with the push of a button. In the log, we can see that three new delivery documents have been created. By creating the deliveries, we kicked off the warehouse processes. Let us open the warehouse monitor app and have a look at what has happened so far. In the warehouse monitor app, we can see that a new warehouse wave has been created. We release it manually. If we look closer, we can see that the relevant pick tasks from our three sales orders has been grouped into the same wave and warehouse order. Finally, we are ready for some real action. We will now open the Pick Cart Fury app and get going with the real work. We open the app, and in the list of available warehouse orders, we will in this case, see only one. The warehouse worker is now preparing the pick cart by adding three picking handling units to the cart. The HS are named T4, T5 and T6 respectively. They are positioned on the cart in different positions, 1 1, 2 2 and 3 3. The warehouse worker is now on the move to the first pick bin location, T01P0102A, to pick three pieces of EWM Prod 931. By scanning the pick bin location identifier, then the product and confirming the expected batch, the system will instruct you to put three pieces into position 1 1 or T4. First pick task is completed, and we are on the move to the next pick bin location, T01P0102B. Expected to pick 7 pieces of EWM Prod 932. Again we are scanning the pick bin location, the product as well as the batch number. We receive instructions to put 3 and 4 into position 1 1 and 3 3 respectively. T4 
2 picks tasks done 2 to go. On the move to bin location TO1P0102C where 9 pieces of EWM Prod 933 are waiting. By scanning the pick bin and product, the warehouse worker is instructed to put 4 pieces in cart position 3 3 and 5 in position 2 2. We are on the move to the 4th and last pick tasks. When arriving at TO1P0102D the bin location and product is scanned, before the 9 pieces are split between 2 to 2 and 3 to 3. Picking is complete. The pick cart journey is completed in the goods issue zone, where the pick cart is emptied and the three pick who's are taken out and made ready for goods issue. The functionality shown in this video is available in S4 HANA Extended Warehouse Management, embedded and decentralized. It is also available in Classic SAP Extended Warehouse Management 9.x. Let's recap the benefits of utilizing the multi-order picking and the pick cart app in your warehouse. By doing multi-order picking you should expect to see a huge reduction in the overall walking distance. By using the pick cart app, you are effectively sorting as you pick, directly into the pack HU. This will efficiently eliminate the need for subsequent consolidation and the packing step. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.